Jordana Green's Health Beat reports only on 28 Eyewitness News. Start your day with Lauren Perkins on Eyewitness News tomorrow morning at 6. Dr. Steve Fertig's Earthwatch forecast this morning at 6. Keith Martin, only on 28 Eyewitness News at 6 and 11. Jim and Sid cover NASCAR on 28 Eyewitness Sports. The 28 Rosie Prize Patrol could be coming to your door. To celebrate Rosie's move to three on VRE, we're giving away a trip to the Rosie O'Donnell Show. Will you be ready when we surprise you on television September 19th? Can you take me now? Send your name, address, and daytime phone number on a postcard only to Rosie's Prize Patrol, 62 South Franklin Street, Wilkesbury. And you must be 18 to enter. Deadline for entries is Monday, September 15th. And if you're a qualified finalist, we can surprise you on TV during the Rosie O'Donnell Show, September 19th. You just want to chip to the Rosie O'Donnell Show. Get out! The winner and three guests will go by Black Tie Limousine to be part of Rosie's New York audience on October 9th. Hey, Northeast Pennsylvania, have you heard the great news? You'll also receive two limited edition Rosie Show jackets, so enter today, because the 28 Rosie Prize Patrol is coming September 19th. Rosie's at three on VRE. Jim and Sid cover the Eagles and Steelers only on 28 Eyewitness Sports. They're two of the biggest powers in college football, Notre Dame and Penn State. Over the top for the touchdown. Now Jim Miller and Sid Michaels bring you the inside stories from State College and live from South Bend. It's stories and interviews you won't see anywhere else. It's a Notre Dame and Penn State special. High hopes, high expectations. Today at 2 before the Notre Dame Georgia Tech game on 28 Eyewitness Sports. This is what you see when you watch Eyewitness News. This is what you don't see. Now we're going to tell you more. We'll take you live behind the scenes of an Eyewitness newscast as it happens on the air. It's a sneak peek at the news you don't see. Don't miss Eyewitness News Live right after the special live ER. That's Thursday at 11, only on Eyewitness News. I'm Frankie in the morning from Magic 93 on the 28 Rosie Price Patrol. We're here at the Laurel Mall in Hazleton. We're going to surprise Susan Leonard from West Hazleton at the dress barn where she's working. Come on. This is my lovely assistant, Jennifer. She's got some goodies for her. Susan Leonard, Susan Leonard. Frankie in the morning, Magic 93. You're our, who's Susan Leonard? Susan! You're our grand prize winner in the 28 Rosie Price Patrol. Hi, I'm Frankie in the morning from Magic 93. Nice to meet you, how's it going? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Welcome to the world of television and welcome to the Rosie O'Donnell Show. You're going to New York City to see Rosie. <laughs> You're going to be in a black tie limo, you and three of your friends to see Rosie O'Donnell in New York City. We've got some gifts for you here as well. Your Rosie O'Donnell, a couple of Rosie O'Donnell show jackets for you. Thanks to everybody who entered. Susan Leonard from West Hazelden, say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> You're our grand prize winner. And remember, Rosie's at three on VRE. What local TV station do you depend on for news? WBRE, I like to watch that all the time. I like Andy Mahalchik. Andy Mahalchik, he's always so sincere. Who do you watch for the most accurate weather forecast? I like Vince Sweeney when he does the weather. I like Vince. WBRE. I believe that they're a little more accurate. What local TV station do you depend on? 28 Eyewitness News, taking the lead. Every newscast is important to us at Eyewitness News because we know how important the news is to you. Now we're proud to tell you we won an Emmy for having the best newscast. The award is great, but what's really important is bringing you the best possible newscast every single day. You can count on us for live coverage, health news, the very latest weather information, all the news that matters to you. Eyewitness News, we're taking the lead. 
28 Eyewitness News is taking the lead in Northeast and Central Pennsylvania. We're the only TV news team with full-time reporters in Scranton, Wilkesbury, and Williamsport. Only 28 Eyewitness News has the I team. Jordana Green's Health Beat reports and 28 Tryout Consumer reports. Only 28 Eyewitness News has Vince Sweeney, Earthwatch, Jim Miller Sports, and the most experienced anchor team in Northeast and Central Pennsylvania, Don Timoney and Keith Martin. 28 Eyewitness News, taking the lead. Those miracle products, are they really as good as seen on TV? Check out that new gizmo or gadget on the 28 Tryout Wednesdays on Eyewitness News. Look at what we're putting to the test in this week's 28 Tryout. The Carbon Kit for Pumpkins. Can your kids use it and will they like it? Before you buy, check out the 28 Tryout Wednesdays on 28 Eyewitness News. Taking the lead. WBRE, your news leader, and MSNBC are teaming up to give you a new choice for news. When you go online, go to WBRE.com, your source for news in northeastern Pennsylvania, and your link to MSNBC on the Internet. It's the only news source that lets you choose the news that's important to you and with the technology that delivers breaking news to your desktop, at home, or at the office 24 hours a day. When you really want to know, log on to WBRE.com. WBRE, taking the lead. I'm good. I feel good. I feel great. Okay. How about that last play, man? It was incredible. When you, when you got it, did you know you had a shot at your Well, I didn't know. I just wanted to run hard as I could and make a break for it. When you scored, what did it feel like? It felt great because uh, I had fun with the ball and, and I gave them an opportunity to win. I'm just glad I got a chance to, to get it back for us. WBRE-TV is taking the lead when it comes to your health. A special Health Beat report showing us the medicine of the future. I'm Jordana Green with what could be something out of a sci-fi movie. A robot that actually fills your prescriptions. No pharmacist needed. Does it work? And would you trust your prescription to a machine? Don't miss this medical breakthrough on Eyewitness News at 11 right after ER. We're taking the lead. When it comes to protecting your money, WBRE-TV is taking the lead. Sooner or later, every home is bound to need repairs. And when you pay to have the work done, you want it done right. So what happens when it's not right? Don't miss a special I-Team report Thursday at 11. We'll show you how we help one family get its money's worth. Well, <laughs> when you call 28, you get results. The I-Team in action Thursday after we are only on Eyewitness News. We're taking the lead. But first, the very latest Pennsylvania election returns from 28 Eyewitness News. When it comes to making your vote count, WBRE-TV is taking the lead. On election night, Eyewitness News was first with key results, the first to tell you Scranton's mayor had won re-election, and first to declare an upset in Kingston. Let me ask you a quick question, tough race, why do you think you came up out on top tonight? For election results and reports from the field that make those numbers come alive, count on 28 Eyewitness News. We are taking the lead. Hi, I'm Jason Miller. On November 21st and 22nd, myself and an all-professional cast will present the Pulitzer Prize-winning comedy Harvey at the FM Kirby Center. And what are you telling me, Harvey? I know it is a delightful comedy. How can I tell them if you keep interrupting me, Harvey? Now, stop that. The FM Kirby Center and the Public Theater will present the famous comedy Harvey, November 21st and 22nd at 8 p.m. Hi, watch Just Shoot Me's on Tuesday at 9.30. And then come behind the scenes with me on Eyewitness News Night Beat at 11. Only on WBRE. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Just Shoot Me tonight at 9.30. Then come behind the scenes with me on Eyewitness News Night Beat at 11. Only on WBRE. You got it. <laughs> The I-Team investigates, and what we found may help your child never to become a victim. Don't miss a special I-Team investigation. It's something parents and children should watch together. You are in the mall with your child. You turn away for just a few seconds, and your child vanishes. For any parent, it is the worst fear you can imagine. 
What if he's been lured away by a stranger? Tonight at 6, only on 28 Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Fred Savage. Be sure to watch Working Wednesdays at 9.30. Then come behind the scenes with me on Night Feed at 11. Only on WVRA. Monday at 6 on 28 Eyewitness News. This isn't Tornado Alley, but if you think that means we're immune to dangerous spring weather, think again. El Nino has spawned some bizarre weather patterns. Is our mild winter likely to be followed by a volatile spring? Mark Hiller looks at what may be coming our way and takes you behind the scenes at the Eyewitness News Weather Center for an eye-opening glimpse at the people and technology that keep you ahead of the storm. Monday at 6 on 28 Eyewitness News. Monday at 11 on 28 Eyewitness News. Spare the rod and spoil the child. It's a saying we've all heard. If you're over 30, your parents probably believed it. But is spanking the best way to discipline a child? His feelings hurt. What can you do when absolutely nothing else seems to work? <coughs> Dia Wallace looks for answers to the question every parent asks, to spank or not to spank? Monday at 11, only on 28 Eyewitness News. Tonight at 11 on 28 Eyewitness News. What makes one person more likely to be a crime victim than another? If you think it's just luck, think again. According to police statistics, certain aspects of your life at home and on the job could make you an appealing target. Andy Mahalshik tells you what they are and gives you common sense tips on how to make criminals pass you by. Don't be a victim. A special I-Team investigation. Tonight at 11 on 28 Eyewitness News. I think I can chip this one in. Well, Keith, anyone can chip in. To fight asthma, that is. Join me Wednesday, May 27th at Woodlock Springs Country Club for the fourth annual Nevada Bob's Charity Golf Tournament. All proceeds go to the Max and Lorraine Foundation to help area children with asthma. Well, that sounds like a winning cause, but now, back to winning this match. For more information, call the number on your screen. Friday on 28 Eyewitness News, fewer and fewer men and women are turning to a life of religious service. In fact, last year was the first time in more than a century that no new priests were ordained in our area. Is that a trend that's likely to continue? Kathy Bozinski examines what the church is doing to change things and introduces you to some remarkable young people, teenagers who have already dedicated their lives to God. Watch Help Wanted, Friday at 6 and 11 on 28 Eyewitness News. Monday morning at 6 on 28 Eyewitness News. They're a daily part of your life. You depend on them to wake you up and send you out the door with a smile. But chances are you've never seen them. Have you ever wondered what the men and women of morning radio are really like? Well, you're about to find out. Marla Matthews takes a week-long look at the usually funny, always competitive world of morning radio. Watch Radio Wars beginning Monday at 6 a.m. on 28 Eyewitness News. From flooding in the 70s and 80s to the recent tornadoes, our part of Pennsylvania has seen more than its share of dark skies. It's been 45 years since the first weather forecast was seen here on WBRE-TV. Technology has certainly changed since then, but WBRE's mission has not. Hi, I'm Vince Sweeney. Our number one job is keeping your family safe during dangerous weather. It was that way in 1953, it's that way now, and you can count on it to be that way tomorrow. Almost everyone liked Ike. Baby boomers were still in diapers. The atomic bomb taught us a new phrase, duck and cover. And WBRE signed on the air, becoming the area's very first television station. And this window on the world had incredible power. Its images can inspire, sadden, unite, and disturb. I'm Keith Martin. For 45 years, people have made WBRE a part of their lives. We thank you for watching, and stay tuned for even better things in the future. Get out your inner tubes and mark your calendars. You're invited to float your fanny down the Susquehanna on Sunday, August 2nd. Proceeds benefit the American Lung Association of Central Pennsylvania, and the cost is just five bucks a fanny. Floaters must be at least seven years of age. Get your registration form at any 360 Communications location. In Jersey Shore, an all-round tire, or call 327-8650. Float your fanny in the Susquehanna. Doing a good deed has never been so much fun. 
This Sunday, you have an extraordinary opportunity. You'll be able to reach out and touch the lives of seriously ill children. Hello, I'm Dawn Timoney, inviting you to join us for the 1998 Make-A-Wish Telethon. Your donations will be used to help make dreams come true for youngsters throughout northeastern Pennsylvania. Sometimes a smile can be the biggest miracle of all, and smiles are what Make-A-Wish is all about. The Make-A-Wish Telethon, this Sunday, beginning at 9 a.m. on 28 WBRE. You have critical decisions to make in November when you'll be asked to select the people to represent your interests in Harrisburg and Washington. At WBRE, we believe those choices should be based on thorough information about the candidates. So we've decided to broadcast a series of debates. Meet the senatorial, gubernatorial, and congressional candidates. Hear them present their views, then make up your own mind. Our state and nation face many challenges, and meeting those challenges begins with making informed choices in the voting booth. Thank you. Need an eye-opening start to your weekend? You found the place. Hello, I'm Jody Applegate. Join the Today Show weekend family, Saturdays at 7, followed at 9 by 28 Eyewitness News. Together, we'll take you around the world and across Pennsylvania, keeping you up to date with the people and events that affect your life. Fast-paced, entertaining, and always informative. The Weekend Today Show and 28 Eyewitness News. The door's always open, so come on in. Join us for breakfast this Saturday. I'm Keith Martin, and this is Brewster. And I'm Dawn Timoney, and this is Luna. Too often we have to report stories of animal abuse and neglect, stories that begin with pet overpopulation. The SPCA of Luzerne County is conducting a capital campaign to build and operate a spay-neuter clinic at the shelter in Plains. Won't you please help by making a donation that will make a difference? Contributions can be sent to the Luzerne County SPCA capital campaign at 524 East Main Street, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, 18702. Election night. One of the greatest dramas in recent regional political history. Andy Mahalshik is standing by now live at the Radisson. People are optimistic, but they're very cautious. And Donna Crilly live via satellite from Tunkhannock. Things are changing here, second by second. We're a little short right now, but we've got some that aren't in. Well, starting now, guys, we're going to be calling Don Sherwood, Congressman Sherwood. On election night and every night, 28 Eyewitness News is the team to watch. The 96 election. It's much more than a presidential race. It's a race to pick the leaders who will bring Pennsylvania into the next century. That's why Keith Martin, Don Timoney, and the Emmy-nominated 28 Eyewitness News team have spent months tracking the most important races in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. On Tuesday, November 5th, everyone will be giving you the numbers, but only one team will tell you what the numbers mean to you. 28 Eyewitness News with Keith Martin and Don Timoney taking the lead. This Sunday on Veterans Views, the region joins the nation in parades and ceremonies honoring veterans. Lawmakers react to a shocking new report on homelessness among veterans. And Congressman Paul Kanjorski talks about the expanding VA Medical Center and Toby Hanna Jobs. I'm Keith Martin, host of the region's only news program devoted to issues and events important to veterans and their families. Inviting you to join me and proud sponsors, the law firm of Oregon, Kluger, Spohr & Quinn, the Department of Veterans Affairs, and Guarantee Bank, Sunday at 10 for Eyewitness News, Veterans Views. Christmas is a time for families and sharing. But most of all, Christmas is a time for children, and you can help make sure a needy child has a Merry Christmas this year. Just bring a new toy to the nearest Marine Corps Toys for Tots campaign donation barrel at a site near you barrel just like this one here at WBRE TV. If you'd like your business to be a site, you can simply call the Marine Corps at the number on your screen. So join WBRE TV in supporting the Marine Corps Toys for Tots campaign. June 1972 when Agnes rained destruction on the Wyoming Valley. Everybody out. Now 28 Eyewitness News looks back and ahead to the future of disaster plans. The devastation we experienced in the Agnes Flood changed federal policy that touches the lives of disaster victims today. I'm Kathy Bozinski. I'll have a special report on Eyewitness News. Special 25th anniversary coverage of the Agnes Flood Monday on 28 Eyewitness News. Larry Roberts on 28 Eyewitness News today at noon. Lauren Perkins on 28 Eyewitness News today at noon. There was a youngster who had contracted AIDS through a bad blood transfusion several years ago. And I said, I've got to do something for this kid. And the only thing I thought of 
was to hug him on live television. I wanted him to feel that one person and one sportscaster cared about him, so I hugged him and I hugged his mother, and you could feel the entire audience come together emotionally, and that was one of the greatest things that have ever happened to me, because I felt I made this kid feel special again. I think because I have three small children, I see in the eyes of these kids that they hope for some kind of hope, and I see through the parents' eyes that they hope for hope too. You can talk about touchdowns and home runs and three-point shots, but now we're talking about children and the hopes and dreams of families. And it's our way to make a contribution to those hopes, dreams, and families, and that's why this telethon is probably the biggest thing I do every year. When we do the telethon, children call in from their lemonade stands and say, hi, I'd like to pledge $5.60 that I raised on my lemonade stand today. We're the first TV station nationwide to do a telethon of this kind. Uh, I think the response has proven how worthwhile Make-A-Wish is. You go home, you're dead on your feet, but you feel so good inside for a day just so well spent. Hi, I'm Lauren Perkins. And I'm meteorologist Steve Furtick. Every morning on Eyewitness News, Steve, Mark Hiller, and I try to make your life a little easier with the news, weather, and all the information you need to get a head start on your day. Now we need your help to make life a little better for some very special kids right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. We're talking about kids with serious, often life-threatening illnesses. Kids who are hoping to have one very special wish come true. It could be a family trip away from all the hospitals and doctors, maybe a computer to help with schoolwork, or a chance to meet a celebrity. The wishes, like these special kids, come in all shapes and sizes, but no matter what the wish, one thing never changes. The smiles, the hope, and the joy that comes with a wish come true. Now, Make-A-Wish families know it takes medicine and a little magic to help a sick child. Doctors provide the medicine. Now you can help make the magic that can make a critical difference in a child's recovery. Join us for the 28 WBRE Make-A-Wish Telethon. Together, we can all take the lead and make wishes come true for kids right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. That's the bottom line of the entire Make-A-Wish effort is you do care, we do care, and we care for a very specific group of children. Children with serious illnesses, children but for the grace of God could be ours. And that's why I believe the Make-A-Wish Telethon is, is crucially important. You saw it first on 28 Eyewitness News. My team reporter Andy Mahalshik is about to break news. Joanne Curley will plead guilty to third degree murder on Thursday morning and then be sentenced to 10 to 20 years in prison. And as the story developed, the I-Team brought it to you live. The story the I-Team first told you about two days ago, well today it became a reality. Joanne Curley pled guilty to third degree murder. The I-Team, only on 28 Eyewitness News, taking the lead. The I-Team, only on 28 Eyewitness News, taking the lead. The I-Team's Baron Johnson, only on 28 Eyewitness News. The I-Team's Andy Mahalshik, only on 28 Eyewitness News. Andy Mahalshik and Baron Johnson, the 28 I-Team. Something like Make-A-Wish gives children a dream that they can live for, that they can fulfill, that they can share with their family. We know in granting the wish to the children, that we've made something real for them, and they appreciate that, but we appreciate that. Having an audience who is loyal to us and able to make a dream come true for them, to make grant that wish, that's what it's all about. That's what's rewarding for us. Last year, uh, somebody uh, dared me to paint my face up like one of the characters in Kiss, so I was all painted up in black and white. And uh, we said the first one who gives us $100 will do that. Well, 100 came right away, and I thought, well, later I should have done it for more. This year, I'm thinking about if the training works out okay, actually doing the kiss face again and breathing fire, as long as we can have a couple of firefighters standing by, and as long as we can get a lot of pledges for it. As the Health Beat reporter, I see a lot of cases where medicine isn't the only cure. It takes love and it takes commitment and it takes time. And these wishes are really very important. 
families should be part of the cure as well, and when they see their child get a wish, it makes everybody feel a lot better. Regardless of the weather, it seems pretty clear that we're all going to be here, and we're going to be at different locations also, not just here in the studio. So we're going to be on your TV, and a lot of us are going to be out there where you can come and meet us, and uh, we're going to ask you for money. We make sure it's something very important before we turn to you and ask you to give us money, your hard-earned money. Hi, this is Vince Sweeney asking you to join us for the Make-A-Wish Telethon this Sunday. Hi, I'm Jim Miller. Join us for the Make-A-Wish Telethon tomorrow. I'm Dawn Timoney. Join us Sunday for the 28 Make-A-Wish Telethon. I'm Keith Martin. Join me tomorrow for the 28 Make-A-Wish Telethon. Challenge of the road coming up now for this team. Well, we just got to take it in stride. It's going to be rough, but uh, I think uh, you know we just have to take you know each game as they come, and hopefully we can uh, we can uh, we win a few of them. Yeah, and the Battle of Pennsylvania next week. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. You know, we're going to go to their house, and they're going to be jacked for it. So we just got to come ready to play some football. I am Myron Weather King. <laughs> Myron, what is this? Action figures. A new promotional idea for the Snowbird Report. Cool! So what does mine do? I wouldn't touch that button if I were you, Snowbird. No. <laughs> Myron, let's say we stick with what we do best, reporting winter school and community closings. Watch the Snowbird Report this winter right here on WBRE-TV. Sponsored by Quick Joe Ice Melt. I'm Jim Miller. Join me Tuesday, December 2nd as we welcome the Pittsburgh Penguins and their all-time great Joe Mullen to the Greater Wilkes-Barre Chamber of Commerce Dinner. Dio Wallace, only on 28 Eyewitness News. Mark Hiller, only on 28 Eyewitness News. Vince Sweeney, only on 28 Eyewitness News. Lisa Braxton, only on 28 Eyewitness News. Jim Miller, 28 Eyewitness Sports. Happy holidays from all of us here at WBRE-TV. Hi everybody, Larry Roberts here in Boo Bear and we pause to wish you a happy holiday. Happy holidays from all of us here at WBRE-TV. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. From the 28i team, have a safe and happy holiday season. Have a safe and happy holiday season from all of your friends here at WBRE-TV. Have a safe and happy holiday season from all our friends here at WBRE-TV. Happy holidays from all of us at WBRE-TV. Our wishes for a safe and happy holiday season from all of your friends at WBRE-TV. Holidays from all of us here at WBRE TV. Happy Hanukkah from all of us here at WBRE. Happy holidays from everyone here at WBRE TV. Have yourself a safe and happy holiday season from your friends here at WBRE TV. Season's greetings from all of us here at WBRE TV. From all of us at WBRE, here's wishing you a very happy holiday season filled with joy and laughter. I'm glad you think so. It's time to celebrate the holiday season with celebration after celebration. Remember at your party, don't make alcohol the center of attention. Be creative and have fun. Happy holidays from WBRE TV. With over 170 responses received last year, the Teddy Bear Patrol has proved to be a vital tool for police and emergency personnel. Sometimes all it takes to help begin a child's healing is a kind word and a hand from the Teddy Bear Patrol. 
With assistance from the Visiting Nurses Association, Penn Miller's Insurance, and WBRE-TV, these cute and cuddly bears are utilized in over seven counties to help ease a child's pain in time of need. Your help is needed. Please support the Teddy Bear Patrol. The lessons learned from scouting have benefited all of us, whether we have been active in scouting or not. That's why we're here to invite you to attend the 15th Annual Northeastern Pennsylvania Friends of Scouting Dinner to be held on Thursday, March 5th at Genetti's in Wilkesbury. Baseball Hall of Famer and former Baltimore Orioles pitcher Jim Palmer will be our guest speaker. Attorney Eugene Roth from the law firm of Rosen, Jenkins & Greenwald will be our honored guest. So join us and help raise needed funds to support scouting. Call for ticket information. 28 Eyewitness Sports, taking the lead at the races. Every Wednesday and Sunday, follow your favorite race teams on the inside track. Jim Miller and Sid Michaels bring you season-long race coverage from start to finish. In-depth reports, interviews, and results from the week's big race. Take a ride with the sports team that's covered NASCAR for over 15 years. Inside track every Wednesday and Sunday, only on 28 Eyewitness Sports, taking the lead. 